Hey guys, um, I uploaded a video last night, you might have seen it, about this chart that I made. Um, and so if you haven't seen it yet, you might want to watch that just because I explain what all of this means. But um, the thing that I realized today is that um, on this timeline down here, Moses's. so um, we know from the biblical timeline if that if we started the first day of the first month on Revelation on the fulfillment of Revelation 12 1 through 5 October 16th 2012 that um, Moses would ascend exactly on the 21st of December and I think um, that um, he would also descend on March 11th and then seven days after that and seven more days from Genesis, you know, from Genesis 8, it would end up on Passover. So let me, let me show you what I mean. This, this just blew my mind. So here's what it says in, um, for the third month. Okay. So here's the third month right here. Um, and these are the scriptures. So it says on the th on the third day of the third month, the Lord descended. So we know that God's calendar is a lunar calendar. So the new moon was on December 13th. So here's NASA's website. The new moon was on December 13th. So um, the third day... If the new if the new moon is the first day of the third month, counting from um, starting from right here, if this Revelation twelve fulfillment October sixteenth is the first day of the first month, then the then the third month would start in December. And it would start in accordance with the moon. So the new moon is on the 13th. So the third day of the third month would be, this would be the first day, the second day, and the third day. So this would be the third day. And the Lord stayed for six days. So the, the Lord descended on the third day of the third month and was on the mountain for six days. And Moses ascended on the seventh. Okay, so the Lord descended on the third day of the third month. So this is the first, second, third day and stayed for six days. So this would be the one, two, three, four, five, six. For six days the Lord stayed. And then Moses ascended on the seventh. So this isn't something that I'm just stretching. This is factual. I mean, this is literally... Sorry, I'm, I'm just kind of blown away by this. This is literally a, some type of alignment that God did. I'm not doing this. Um, the Revelation 12 sign is rare. I mean, it happened October 16th, 2012. The last time it happened was in 1570, and the next time it happens is in 2454. I have all the links below this video. You can go watch those videos if you haven't already. But um, if that was the first day of the first month, then the third day of the third month would happen um, right here on December 15th. And the seventh day when Moses ascended into the mountain of God would have happened literally right on December 21st, 2012. Not December 21st of any other year. Only 2012. Only 2012, you guys. I mean, this, is, this blew my mind. Okay, but that's not all. He ascended into the mountain of God on December 21st, 2012. And then he stayed for 40 days and 40 nights. Okay, so I'm going to count this with me. I just want to prove this to you that this is not me trying to stretch this, okay? He ascended right here on the 21st of December, ascended and stayed for 40 days and 40 nights. So this would be the first day. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 
28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So 37 on the 26th. Okay, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, so this is the 40th day, but remember, now I understand why the scripture actually says 40 days and 40 nights because it's not just 40 days. 40 days would land right here. It's 40 nights as well. So we have to go all the way until the morning of the 30th. So 40 days and 40 nights. So, but here's my question and here's the part where I think there's I don't know which one this is. I don't know whether Moses reascends on this day or this day. We know he reascends in the morning because it says right here in Exodus 34. And if you guys want to study this and, and help me figure this out, the, the story is from Exodus 32 to, to Exodus 34. And this is Exodus 34. This is after Moses came down from the mountain and the Israelites were worshiping the golden calf. So this is, there's there's two 40-day periods for Moses. There's the first 40-day period, and then he comes down, or we're on this timeline, the first 40 days, and then he comes down, and then he goes back up for another 40 days. So he comes down, and the Israelites are worshiping the golden calf, and the, and the tablets break. And then um, he reascends. Uh, he reascends for 40 more days. And here it is right here. And the Lord said to Moses, take those two tablets of stone that were broken when he came down from the mountain. And I will write the, tab the words on the tablets that were in the first tablets that were broken. Okay, so the Lord is saying, okay, we're going to go back up and I'm going to fix the tablets for you. And then it says, and Moses rose up early in the morning. And it says, be ready in the morning. So Moses rose up early in the morning. So what I'm trying to understand is it doesn't clarify. I mean, it, it tells us down here in verse 28, it tells us, and he was there for 40 days and 40 nights. So a, a second 40 days and 40 nights is what it looks, is what it is. But it doesn't tell us whether he went up on that day, meaning he came down from the mountain right here. Did he wait for a whole nother day and ascend on this day? Or did he ascend on this morning right here? We know it was in the morning, but which morning? Here's the really th part that blew my mind. If it was this morning, so he came down from the mountain this morning. If he rose up on that same morning when the tablets broke, then, then we would end up um, the end of the 40 days would be on March 11th. So let me show you. So this would be the first day. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So 32 on March 2nd. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 40 40th day right here. And he stayed for 40 days and 40 nights. So we land on March 11th. He would d descend, descend from the mountain of God on March 11th. And then in Genesis 8, it says, and after the 40 days, wait seven days, then wait seven more days. Passover. And this blew my mind. Because there is no way, you guys, there's no way this is coincidence. There's no way this is coincidence. The new moon, the new moon is on um, March 11th this year. So the new moon is on Passover. I'm sorry. The new moon is on March 11th when Moses descended. And I'm just going to, I'm, I don't, I don't know what this is. Okay. I, I, like I said, this is the reason why I have 
11th and 12th right here is because of that confusion about which day did he ascend back up. That's why that's like that. Because I don't know whether it was the 11th or the 12th. It just doesn't say in the scripture. But if it was the 11th, if it was that same day that he descended, if he ascended again on that same morning, then he would descend on March 11th, the anniversary of the Japan disaster, and then he, and then 14 days later it would be Passover. And that is the new moon. March 11th is the new moon. And then, um, and then the, the full moon is on, is during the seven days of unleavened bread. So that blew my mind and there is no way that anybody can prove that I made that up. I did not make that up, okay? I'm not stretching this. I'm not fudging the, the, the facts. This is a solid date right here. This is the only Revelation 12 fulfillment that has happened since 1570 AD. And the next one won't happen until 2454. It didn't happen in 2011. It doesn't happen in 2017. It only happened in 1570 and the next time and in and October 16th, 2012 and the next time is in 2454. This is a solid, solid marker that, that was given to us by God in the book of Revelation. Revelation 12, 1 through 5. A solid marker from God right here. And if we start that as the beginning of our first day of our first month, this is the timeline we end up with. Moses ascending on December 21st, 2012. And then descending for the final time on March 11th, the new moon. And seven days after that and seven more days after that is Passover. And that is not my timeline. That's God's timeline. And why? And why? Why? Why is that God's timeline? What is God trying to tell us? You know what I mean? What is God trying to tell us with this time? these timelines? Because I'm not coming up with this. People that say I'm coming up with this, they are so clueless. They're not paying attention. This is not me. Okay? Yes, I discovered this, but it's not me making it up. It's God that made it. You see what I'm saying? This is unbelievable. This marker right here was a fulfillment. And so we start this timeline there. This marker was a, was a second fulfillment, so we start a timeline there. And this was the, the third major fulfillment, so we start a timeline there. This fulfillment right here of the dragon and meteor shower, this is part of this fulfillment here. Because if this fulfillment hadn't happened, then the draconid meteor shower wouldn't have mattered. You see what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, the draconid meteor shower happens every year, but it just so happens that that in 2012, the Revelation 12, 1 through 5 was fulfilled right here. And the draconid meteor shower happened before that. And it says in Revelation 12, the dragon stood before the woman and cast a tail of sparks. So the dragon stood before the woman on the calendar. Before the woman, right here. The draconid meteor shower happens before the, the Revelation 12 sign. So um, yeah, that happens every year. But because this, this rare sign right here happened October 16th, then that's also a fulfillment. You see what I'm saying? So we start all of these timelines on God's marker dates. They're not my marker dates. They're God's marker dates. And it, I'm just happened to notice all of these alignments that are happening. Every single major holiday in the fall of 2012 was, was um, marked by God's calendar, including December 21st. And look what's coming up next. We got um, alignments on February 4th, February 11th, President's Day, February 25th, March 11th, and Passover. So I, I think it's amazing. I think it's just mind-boggling. I'm blown away. <laughs>